<laughs> now having just opened this up, uh, we find that these lines are already on there and obviously it started from here to here to here to here, there and there. The other alternative starts from there, 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 there and there. But that's the start point. So what is it? God will a lot. A drunkard. Length is two eight three three. Hitching. Tell me to sell Don his her uh, ring. It is a genuine diamond because I've had it checked. So John can then give him the face for the ring that he can give to his wife. Yeah, well, yeah. yeah ripping yeah. yarn on. Yeah. Okay, I'm, look, if, if John's got the money, he's going to give it to him anyway. I, I know that about John. Um, and, you know, with the body, as Adam said, I'm going over there to do the indoor for him, so it'll be pay, paying forward his labour, yeah. his expertise.
But had, after he has suffered many things in this generation, in his generation, in that generation. That generation. Yes. It says this generation, but it's also translated as that. Right. After he has suffered many things in that generation, the Son of Man, was it, will be revealed? Was it, was it Luke? Um, huh? Where was it from, Luke? 17.31 or something. Right. 17.25, must first... But first must suffer. All the numbers are coming out to be uh, from Carmel, for example, to uh, to Wanaka. It is uh, Bosra and the Clip the Grapes. Isaiah 63. Wow. Yeah, to cross, come over, pass through. Yeah, it's to be complete to look at it. Now what John in the Isle of Patmos explain what you're doing in a vision. All of a sudden he goes, it's gone. There's an answer. Comes up on a screen, all typed out. <laughs> and you then you just put your fingers over. How would he explain that? Pretty hard to do, isn't it? Yeah. 
Now, what, what was that measurement you just told me then? That I was half listening. What, the, the one just before you completion. Spoke. Completion. Right. That is from where I was born to Carmel. Right. See, so, yeah, it's at eleven, one, like one one nine point three eight degrees. So if we go back the other way, it would be a different degrees, right? It's a caramel. So it's now two nine nine three degrees. Laodicea. Church at Laodicea? Something like that. Yeah. Brother in law. Two nine nine two. Yes, yeah, so that's all very interesting. Now this of course is uh, inaccurate, so we're going to go from there. Twelve nineteen so that can become a, uh, a righteous waker. Mm. Well, yeah, I mean, honey, I'm sure they've got the whole plan, they've been prepared well. <laughs> People, yeah. They know exactly what their mission is. To bring this fallen, and it can only do it. You can't break the law of the universe. No. So, that's why Gabriel, talking to Daniel, said let the wicked continue to be wicked. But the righteous and the holy... So they're in travail and pain together. Yeah. That's from where I was born, using the, uh, to the triangle, using the... Uh, Google Earth at 49.44 degrees, which is prevailing pain together. Sympathize. Right. It's rapidly in motion um, 8264. These are the Jews, right? Yeah. Because I'm going to kill him. So nautical miles is six five eight five. To rush upon. Miles is seven five seven eight. Terror, trembling. You better believe it. Every last one of them. Mm. See you can. Cancer. Mm, that's right. What we've been calling her. The fungus. Mm. Cancer is a fungus. The black. Uh, Sherry's been exposing everything in her scientific studies and all the rest of it that she's been doing. She's Sherry. Been, Sherry, yeah. No, the black, the bubonic plague, the black plague was mold fungus, Aspergillus. And Aspergillus 
so it's still everywhere, it's just different name changes, like Black Plague, and it's set off by radiation, microphone, microwave, cell towers. Really? Yes. So it's in your body, it's fungus, and all the foods, the aflatoxins, everything, it's called aspergillus, it's spread by a microwave. And that's what's in the chemtrails too, mm. mold spores. Yeah, I found a study last night, the effects of mold on fruit with radiation, and it's, it um, accelerates the growth of mold on the organic matter of the fruit. Right. So if they're spraying it everywhere and then set up cell towers and everyone's yes. got cell phones yeah. radiating constantly yeah. and they're eating GMO and crappy foods that are mouldy, fungusy. That's where all everything starts from there. Yeah. It um, gets your immune system down and then you're open to everything. Yeah. <clears throat> well, we don't have so a diabolical. <laughs> yeah, but belief gives you immortality, you see. Mm. See, we're just talking here of terror running back and forwards. I'm suddenly going to kill all the Jews because I've done it. And uh, it's all this Talmud shit. Now, I went to the Institute of Humanities, like, give me a break, in Turek, most expensive area, guards, gates. <laughs> Electronics and that shit, right? <coughs> yeah, not me. Right. And I walked around the back and I was just, was my name's Marshall, I think I'm a Jew, right? Yeah. So I walk around the back and um, they got this bearded old fella and he died and he's the one that says, you can get it on YouTube, yeah. We're talking about um, how. Um, the non-Jew is an animal with hands put on the earth by Yahweh to serve them, the promised mm -hmm. elect, chosen people. Then they have a, a photograph of cows standing in a in a field, mm -hmm. like ready for McDonald's. Now that is um, what's driving Israel. Tell me. That's right. So I'm going to kill him. It was an oral tradition, right? They burn all the books and, and kill them. Mm. They're a cancerous mm. abomination. Just look at history. Mm. 80 countries have kicked them out for sacrificing babies, mm. drinking their blood. They're the monsters. Mm. And they're like that's they're behind everything like the Illuminati, Freemasons. That's all this front covering the mm. Yeah, well, and that's what we've been saying all along. Did you? What did Hitler yeah. say? Right? He peels back the pus and then there's a little maggot in yeah. there and he's terrified by the light. Right. Maggot in the putrescent body. In the what? In the putrescent body. Putrescent. Putrent. Yeah. Putrent. Yeah. Putrent. Yeah. Pus filled. That's such a new quote. It is. <laughs> Chatting with Adam. Mm. You know, the scene's going on over there. Uh, oh, they're so glad to be away from Sana. <laughs> from where? Sana. Oh, the, the, that's cool. He's friend. Yeah, yeah, Adam was telling me about the mm. and a lot of piece of work. Mm. To you, Anaka. what he has to say about um, doctrine on the seen church of Christ. 
The same Church of Christ hereby declares that the blessed day of the restoration of the true Church and true teachings of the Lord Christ and Lady Christ has now come. We believe that we are that Church and that we are the authorised custodians and chief disseminators of the true teachings of Lord Christ and Lady Christ. In the ancient Essene manuscripts used by our Church, Yahshua predicted that after his crucifixion, his enemies would fiercely persecute his true church, set up a false church and alter his teaching. He was right. After Jesus was crucified, his true church was attacked and of his true disciples executed as heretics, first by the mainstream Jewish authorities and then by the Pauline Roman Catholic Church. Mainstream Christianity became a state-run religion run by corrupt kings via their puppet popes. The founder of this altered form of Christianity was Saul of Tarsus, Paul, who had never even met Yahshua. Paul and his cohorts throughout the vegetarian teachings of Yahshua, as well as his teachings on the Divine Mother Goddess. They threw out almost all of the sayings of Miriam and branded her as a reformed prostitute, when in fact she was the wife and eternal consort of Yahshua and had never been a prostitute. They altered the New Testament, replacing many of the teachings of Yahshua and Miriam with the teachings of Paul. The Pauline Church evolved into the Roman Catholic Church and led the world into what historians call the Dark Age. The Catholic army nearly exterminated all of the surviving Nazarenes, forcing the few survivors to take their precious scrolls and go into hiding. Yahshua predicted all of it, but he also predicted an age of light in which his true church would return and his true teachings would be distributed. In the Essene New Testament we risk we read, Yahshua said, But the time cometh when darkness shall cover the earth, and gross darkness the people, and the enemies of truth and righteousness shall rule in my name, and set up a kingdom of this world, and oppress the peoples, putting for my doctrines the opinions of men, and teaching in my name that which I have not taught, and darkening much that I have taught by their traditions. But be of good cheer, for the time will also come when the truth they have hidden shall be manifested, and the light shall shine and the darkness shall pass away, and the true kingdom shall be established, which shall be in the world, but not of it. And the word of righteousness and love shall go forth from the centre. Very good. In another section of the same ancient manuscript, Yahshua prophesied, there shall arise after you men of perverse minds who shall through ignorance or through craft, suppress many things that I have spoken unto you, and lay to me things which I never taught. Woe is the time when the spirit of the world entereth into the church, and my doctrines and precepts are made void through the corruptions of men and women. But the time cometh when the things which they have hidden shall be revealed and made known, and the truth shall make free those which were bound. Yahshua also said, They shall make an alliance with the kings and rulers of the world, and seek earthly power and riches and domination, and put to death by fire and sword those who seek the truth, and therefore are truly my disciples, and in their days and in their days I shall be crucified afresh and put to open shame, for they will profess to do these things in my name. As I shall be nailed to the cross, so also shall my church in those days. But the day shall come when this darkness shall pass away, and the true light shall shine, and my church shall be filled with light and give light unto all nations of the earth. A seen Church of Christ hereby declares that the blessed day of the restoration of the true teachings and the true church of the Lord Christ and Lady Christ has now come. We believe we are that true church and that we are authorised custodians and chief disseminators of those true teachings. Please do not misinterpret the above statements. We do not believe that we are the only good church or that other churches are bad. In fact, we study wisdom wherever we find it, even in other churches and religions. But we do believe we are the authorised custodians and chief disseminators of the authentic version of the teachings of Yahshua and Miriam. We teach what they actually taught, and we do believe the Lord Christ and Lady Christ are responsible for our church becoming manifest at this precise point in planetary history. The cusp between ages 
and we believe many of the members of our church are reincarnated in Essenes. They worked closely with the Lord and Lady 2,000 years ago and have now returned to help with their current work. Also, we know that the Lord and Lady are in ongoing contact with us, providing guidance and have given us certain specific assignments that have been given to nobody else. So we are not the only good church, but quite literally, we are the actual reincarnated church of the Lord Christ and Lady Christ and are the custodians of certain esoteric teachings not available anywhere else but our mystery school. Yahshua and Miriam have revealed to us the reason for our manifestation at this particular point in planetary history. We are on the cusp of a new cycle on Earth, a new age. The new age will be an age of relatively advanced spirituality, an age in which the group consciousness takes a quantum leap forward. The new age will be a solar civilization, making profound and creative use of the energy of our sun. It will be a civilization dedicated to ecological harmony. And as indicated by the prophet Isaiah, it will be non-violent, vegetarian civilization returning to the original non-flesh diet given by God and Goddess in Genesis. Truly, a new day is about to dawn. But before the bright sky of the new dawn day dawns, a dark storm shall rain down. In other words, there is going to be a rather rough transition period. How rough depends on us. Enough damage has already been done to the ecosystem of our Earth to ensure some degree of ecological collapse. That ecological la collapse will cause an economic collapse, and that economic collapse will lead to socio-political chaos and war. Even if profound ecological wisdom were implemented immediately on a worldwide scale, some degree of the above scenario would still occur. Enough damage has already been done to the ecosystem to ensure some degree of collapse and chaos. Um, now, what are you reading from there? This is the Essenes, right. um, Essene Church of Christ. We've just got all the numbers on it. These were the last people I found just before I found you. And uh, now, didn't, didn't bother to tell me. I did. I told you. That's why I asked you immediately. Do you eat meat? Oh, thank God for that. <laughs> I told you all about this. Um, it wasn't time, my dear. I know it wasn't time, baby. You had to reach your identity crisis. <laughs> but seriously, you had to suffer many things and be rejected by this generation. The, from uh, Mount Carmel to the um, uh, Triangle Lake. It's six nine seven ah. zero miles. Um, and I was just looking at Rock of Airs there, yeah. which is Mars Hill. Mm. So that's the, I've just told Adam that's his mission. He, John and Claudia have got to go there because they are expecting the Lord and Lady Christ to return. And they are preparing the way as their mission. To go away? They are... Eugene, Oregon, they're in the mountains, like the backdrop is That's the mountain. That's where John lives. To 410 kilometres north. Right. So, lives John. So it's right in the neighbourhood. Um, now, these are the healers. White robes, the saints, white linen, vegetarians, well, we've all become vegetarians. So, th this is an Essene. Church that you Essene, yeah. over in the US. They believe right. they are the reincarnated Essene church mm. that were with Jesus, Jesus. And, and Miriam. Well, I have to break some news to them, it was Martha. Yeah. Um, yeah, because you were reading and they were referring to the Lord and Lady Christ. Mm. Not, That's it. It's not any other Their mission is it's rip, unearthing all of the hidden and suppressed teachings. Which is why this world is in the chaos that it is. It's the mm. world of the dead. Mm. And and see the the law, universal law, is to kill nothing. Right? Yeah. So that's why the Jews have got everybody as cannibals, eating flesh. Yeah, well that's mm. like go figure, you can't have harmony with all this killing of be a human or animal. No. So no, now's the time. He's done everything he can in the world of the dead to save them and he can't. Mm. That's it. So now it's like... Now I'm going to kill him. Yeah. 
All Jews are dead. Uh, mm. So yeah, send the three witnesses to the well, the Lord and Lady Christ are in Australia. Because as a child, this day the day, the double D, yep. the double D, double D is a B, mm -hmm. David Day is his name, who is an eight year old child. He was watching a Christmas movie about Jesus. He fell in love with Jesus. He was so nice, kind and compassionate. And when he got killed, he runs out of the room yelling and screaming, distraught. <laughs> he was praying, God, please bring Jesus back. He didn't know that he resurrected, that he didn't see the end of the movie. But as a child, and he said he was crying out, please bring Jesus back, please bring him back, please make him alive again. He said the room filled with a presence, and he thought it was his mother. He looked up, and it was Jesus, but it was Michael. Mm. Um, and he told him, yeah, the day will come. I've got a mission for you. He told him that he would send a man who would have uh, peaceful eyes and that he would teach him. And uh, then Michael said to him, this time I have come to you. The next time I see you, you will come to me. So with that, we send three witnesses because he has to suffer many things in this generation of his life this time and be rejected his entire life. That's that's he prophesied. That's what he Well thought. that's that's two tick boxes right there. Yeah. So that he prophesied that as Jesus. So that's what he's been through, the rejection, the suffering of his entire life. Mm. Everybody who's met him in the world of the dead. Um so now it's time. And and all the numbers we've just been measuring all over the place. Now, what happened was, I found this just be, not too long before I found Yah. And I'm thinking, ugh. <laughs> it's, it resonated. I wrote a poem about it, all kinds of things. Um, I'm going to want to a prayer group that victimed me later when I announced the Christ return. But, you know. but there was one woman there who was really in tune to the Spirit. And she said to me, Janelle, as I'm praying for you, she said, I see a triangle. And she said, it's a golden triangle. And I go, hmm, I knew what that was. I hadn't said anything to her. So I leave there, I go home, and in my mailbox is the letter, because I sent away for their free information, the letter from this Essene community in Oregon, who are right beside Lake Triangle. So, I thought, okay, that's, that's the right path. That's what I was thinking. And I, at that time, I thought, am I supposed to go there? Mm. Yeah, is that where I'm supposed to go? It wasn't too long ago. There I found Yah. So we do what we do. And the thing that they understand about the Magdalene is that she is rejected more than Yahshua was. So, and I have been. Yeah. <laughs> um, so... You know, he's still suffering. I'm identifying with his suffering. And now we've reached that point where he can do no more. He's shut the door on the pyramid, everything else. That's it. Mm -hmm. Nothing. And, um, and then I start talking about this. Um, two days ago, I was digging into this again because he's having his identity crisis. <laughs> Why, why, why? Powerless. <laughs> um, <laughs> what was it, about eight? Right. Well, I had to give eight. up. I couldn't convince him, I just give up. No, that's right. Um, what, how did, hmm? what did number eight come up this morning or last night? You mean something? Yesterday. Yesterday, the number eight. Oh, that long. Right, the number eight, eight, eight. So we read about his testimony. He was eight years old. Day, day and yesterday when we went to this morning when we went to the cafe she gave us table 14 oh I'll give you this table number 14 I'm going to hot up 14 making a joke about it here you go for 8 14 reading his testimony he was 8 years old in 1966 which means he was born in 1958 and there's 14 years between 1958 and Yahweh's birthday but anyway 
but it's the measuring, it's just confirmed that this is the fortress, the wall. And I, I'd said to Yah, if America's going to go to the ship, if it's going to be destructed, this will be the only place that will remain standing. Mm, that's right. Divine protection. So, and that's exactly what it says. And it's in also in another measurement, it was Michael. So, I've just filled Adam in. This is where you're going. Mm. Three witnesses tell them that we are here. And it's like, and this, well, they they're preparing the way mm. for the return of the Lord. And we're not expecting him on the big white horse in the cars. <laughs> Oh, it's all very exciting. Oh, the other thing. Remember I talked about 35? My children were all 35 minutes past the hour. Mm. And then this Passover that I had this do with 35. I was talking about it with Yah yesterday, the 35 again. Their paradise is 35 acres. And they have built a garden of Eden. Mm, mm. Hey, Carmel in um, California, how far is it to Lake Triangle? Now, to the Isle of Man, it's uh, 68.88 degrees. 68.88, that was last November month. November the 30th. November the 30th. His age is 68.888 on November 30th when it's all over destruction. Fire, right. furnace. Mm -hmm. The cancer will be removed. Mm. That's right. The Aspergillus. All Freemasonry. Mm, yeah. Mm. Wrong. Yes. If you're going to stay a Freemason, you're dead, mate. Mm. Level every demonic building there is. Mm. Take all the gargoyles off every church. Maybe you should spray them white. And everybody has to become vegetarian. Yeah, and everyone's got to become a vegetarian. <sighs> Apart from that, I'm measuring along with. Show you with me. <laughs> yeah, just reading about raw food diets and stuff lately. It's, it, yeah, it really isn't necessary. Yeah. It's a lot healthier than living foods. Yeah, Yeah, so. So what's that side? I'll check that out. Yeah, essene.org.org. Right. Put it on Facebook. Um, yeah, that's what I was thinking, just taking some of those quotes that you've written in and just posting them. Because mm. it's like, look around, it's all happening around you right now, everything mm. said in there. Mm. And it talks about the transition between the ages. It's going to be a bumpy ride. Mm. You know, their, their mission is to make it as smooth as possible, like they are the defence, if you like. Mm. And it's right. And the fact that we're here. Yeah. On the earth. So, um, yes, it's like, um, <laughs> see that card that we lost today? Momentarily lost. Mm. That's his Nazarene card. Right. See the Essenes of the Nazarenes, mm. meaning um, the northern Essenes. Right. There was the Essene community in the south, and they were actually the ones um, they crucified. They were the Herodians. Mm. It's the northern ones who, the, who were the um, more gentle ones, if you like. The southern ones were. John the Baptist was a sold out. Mm, mm -hmm. Pretty much. And mm, so there's this distinct um, two separate communities of them. And they said that Yahshua was uh, not as strict with like the 
rules and regulations. She was very disciplined. And that Mary herself, the mother, had been chosen from a community of esteemed girls, uh, that her parents were chosen um, because they knew they were giving birth to the Christ. But the body had to be prepared, it had to be a pure temple. That's what immaculate meant, immaculate. Yeah. It's clean yeah. to handle the vibration of housing the Spirit of God within the womb. Mm. Can't have a sick body giving birth to God. That's right. Um, makes me wonder what your mother, what Daphne was like. Mm. Make, makes me wonder what Daphne was like carrying you around this time. <laughs> In hell. <laughs> um. Um, yeah, so. That's, that's why I was shown before I found him. It's like leaving, leaving him home. Mm. He's having an identity crisis. Loses his Nazarene card. <laughs> it's like, you know, remember, you're a Nazarene. <laughs> this is what they did. This is what you taught. As much as you're, you know. A certain bits of their insanity has to be tweaked, but <laughs> like everything else. Mm. They've, they've got a Black Mary. Um, Black Mary Magdalene, and she has a baby. Well, he said she was black. Soul was as black as the ace of spades. And the baby she had was a twin of... So that's, that's why the seven devils cast out. What happens when you get seven devils cast out and your soul is garnished clean? What happened? It comes back. That's what I'm back looking for. Seven times worse. Mm. So she had seven de devils driven out, right? Well, they say off. Like it was I don't seven, get what they say. Mm. What the fuck what they say? Seven devils driven out. Mm. She's come back worse and she caused the crucifixion. Mm. She played her part. That was her job. Be a jealous bitch. Older sister hated the younger sister. She couldn't conceive. Younger sister could. Simple as that. She repents, takes the baby back to France. One of the twins. So she repented. This time around she loses the baby. She loses the baby. I warned her what was going to happen. Of course, doesn't believe it, right? Oh, yes, please. Yes, of course. Won't sit in front of the kids mm. or anyone else. You see bloody miracles one after the other. 13 years of it. Still won't go good. So she's black. And she ripped me off. Steals everything I own. If that's not black, I don't know what it is. So from the human perspective, I've got to suffer all these bloody things, right? Here it is here. First must he suffer. Many things. Many things of this generation or something like that. But first must he suffer many things that and be rejected of that generation. The change to this generation is if you're speaking about himself then. But when you read it, of course it's not speaking about when he, when he can return, returns. So they put that in as a psychological think he's talking about himself. Mm -hmm. Very interesting. So I open up this program here. It's the PC Bible Atlas for Windows. Very ancient, uh, at least 20 years old. And uh, when I opened up, there's a <clears throat> large uh, triangle in it, which I don't know how to put it in. I don't think I can do that. But it appeared in there. Yeah, so it appeared on the screen in the Middle East. And we're talking about Triangle Lake. Mm. Now, what is interesting is. But the dude, the holy man that was sent his way years later when he was 17, he picked up. He'd never picked up a hitchhiker before, but there's a dude sitting in a lotus position, and we were going to try and dine at the lotus restaurant tonight, but we couldn't get in. Sitting in the lotus position, and so David stops and picks him up. He didn't have a thumb out or anything, he just stops and picks him up, stops in the car, and they start talking, and um, he says, what, why do you have your thumb out? Like, you're talking. This is what I was waiting for you. 
<laughs> okay, so that was the beginning. And he takes him to a vegetarian restaurant. <laughs> now, his, his name is Malachi, which means messenger. And, you know, he'd been told he would have soft eyes, which he did. He was a man of peace. So he, the, the teaching began over the lunch in the vegetarian restaurant. And um, Malachi had been born in America, and then his family went to Lebanon. He's lived in Iraq, Iran, Syria, the Middle East. And then he was given a message to go back to his uh, home, place of birth because he, now it's time to, he was being sent as the messenger for David. And David would be the founder of the North American Church of the Essene Church of Christ. I found out what this is now. Uh, this is the uh, what appeared on the uh, computer itself. Uh, I didn't do it. When I opened it up, there it was. We've gone out for uh, something to eat tonight, we come back, and there it was. So someone's been playing with the computer while I was away, and I guarantee it wasn't you. <laughs> you over there. But if you go from that line, remember I said it's just a bit of a puzzle, you've got to go how to work it out to get as, as least amount of moves as possible. Mm. Well, the centre one is where you start from, and when you go up to um, or down to the right hand side, the lowest point, mm. back up and back down back again, down. you're going to um, Mount Carmel, right? And the area is uh, three six two three eight square miles. Well, three six two three is a spousal. So Mount Carmel is the Basel. And that's it's where the Essenes. That's, that's the, the church, right? On Mount Carmel. They were the northern Essenes and they are the bride. Mm. Yeah, I didn't know about the northern area at all, Carmel. Didn't know about it. But I knew the, the Essenes in Cormoran were assholes. They were bastards, right? Well, Mount Carmel is north of uh, Nazareth. That's yep. what card is. is Nazarene. Nazarene. Yeah. See, Nazareth, the town. Didn't but it's also Israel in Hebrew. There was the like village of the Nazarenes who were the northern Essenes. They were called Nazarenes. Northern Essene. That's what Nazarene means. Mm. It was later that the town established and was called Nazareth. But it didn't exist as a town at that time, and that's his memory of coming back from Alexandria. And a hill, wasn't it? Mm. You know, the hill. Well, that was Mount Carmel. Right. Interesting. Mm. And see, and that's why Joseph's great big huge geezer he was. Had his arms around these two smaller men. The smaller men are about six foot three. Right? He was a giant. <clears throat> So the average height was five foot eleven. The average height today is five foot seven. So it was nothing to get a man six foot six, six foot seven inches tall. Now they get me on the bloody shrouded arena at five foot bloody eight. Mm. Right? I was that big when I was fucking eleven. Mm. <clears throat> yeah, so that answers the question of why that thing appeared there and um, I just zoomed in, did it real close to those three points and we've got um, the displacement factor of the Great Pyramid reducing the, the actual diameter by 286.1 and it gives you the 36238 square nautical miles which is that number based on the pyramid shrunking. No better. Mm. You can do the same thing from this layout uh, to the Great Pyramid, or you can do it to uh, the baby who was born in Bethlehem. You can do it to Alexandria. It's all going to be different areas and sizes, and 
it'll all say the same thing. It'll all just bang at home. Because there's no use me doing it all the time. I want someone else to be able to do it. And uh, that's why I say the book is shut. Now, the elders in the Essenes and the people that want to teach in the Essenes, I'll tell them all. Mm. That's no problem. I'm not going to tell the world, they can get stuffed. Mm. Yeah. All the Jews are out of here, it's finished. All the Freemasons, they're gone. Mm. Any secret society, the Pope gone. All the fucking Catholics, priests. And I know what's going on. Mm. Are the homosexuals? Yeah, so. Apart from that, I'm easy to get along with. It has to be stressed that this is going to be the hologram point for the universe. What happens on the earth and how we breed the children now from this point onward, bringing paradise to the earth. That paradise will then go out to many mansions, which is unlimited. You, you can't put a number of planets like this. And what will happen is it'll, the wave of light, they'll be picking up the radio waves and be able to see all this stuff happening, television, everything. They'll be able to tune anything in. They'll be able to see the wars, right? speeches of Hitler, mm. all this kind of thing. It's all getting right out there. So if it, was, if it was spoken 75 years ago by Hitler, it's 75 light years away. That's nothing. It's just one past Alpha Centauri. But it can be sped up. So you imagine if you're on a planet and you're living in a garden of paradise, everything's wonderful, all of a sudden there's radio waves coming and you see these horrors coming. Mm -hmm. right? So this is what we did for you. This is what God did for you. Great story, isn't it? Mm. It's all bullshit, isn't it? This is not a bit of a happy ending. So that's the Nazarenes of Carmel that are in the United States at Triangle in Oregon. Triangle Lake. <laughs>